Good morning and sliding into afternoon. Judy Allen here, San Antonio, Texas. So we got rain and we're going to get more rain. Whoop, whoop. So today we're going to be making a deckled box. You can make it as a gift box. You can put cards in it. You can do whatever you want and make it a treat box, right? Main thing, it's fun. It's easy to do. And we're going to make a coordinating card that's going to be deckled as well. And I'll show you how we do it. All right, let's go down the hands and let's get this done. I don't know about you, but it is crazy busy between the club tomorrow and retreat on the weekend. So this is what we're going to make. And when you untie it, and open it up, this is what you've got. All right? And you can see all the embossing as well as we're going to do some deckled, all right? So let me set that aside so I can show you how we did this. So we're going to make the box first, and then I've got a card here that we're going to make to go with it, and I'll show you how we made that as well, too. So this is, I, brought, I thought I brought my little cheat sheet. This is, I'll tell you, this is 10 inches by, yep, 10 inches by 7 and an eighth, okay? And it's scored an inch on this side, an inch on this side, and then we've also got it scored on the center here on the long side at four and a half and five and a half. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our scissors. What I love about boxes, right? If you've ever made one, right, then it just makes it easier to make anything else you make, right? We're just adjusting size. So it's math. So if you don't like math, just get a calculator out and let the calculator do the calculations for you. All right. So... This one, we're not having a lid on it because what I have done is I've used the deckled die to cut the lid. All right, and I'm gonna show you how we did that. We're first gonna get our box together here. And I'll show you some tips and tricks too. Cause I had to, um, you know, when you're doing with the deckled circles, right? We're dealing with a circle. So when I first did it, I had sit there and cut out die cut the circle first and then I went to put the score lines and I'll tell you that that it didn't work okay it didn't work because the circle doesn't butt up flat easily to your cutter and so it didn't come out right so I will tell you why we're making the box that is much easier to sit up there and do your scored lines first and then cut out with the deco dies. All right, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do these here, get this put together right here, and then we'll do the sides of the box. Sorry, let's just have it. I'm used to, because I'm always creating, I'm so used to putting the lid back on my glue, just so I don't accidentally squeeze it out or let it dry on the tip, right? So I'm just going to put this here. You could use tear and tape. I prefer glue, right? So everything we ever do is right where we personally, our personal preferences. Okay, you see how the box is shaping up, right? So all we're going to do is the same thing here. So this is just how easy it is, right? To make the shell part of the box with no decorating at all. All right. It was just a matter of making some score lines on paper, cardstock, and then just clipping the tags. That's going to be a little flap there. And then we just have to put it together. So that's how easy it is just to make the box like we're making it. And, you know, and I'm already visualizing how you can do this with smaller boxes as well too, right? So it's not limited to just this size. It's just this is the size we're going to make. So when this is finished, you're looking at a box that is five inches, five and a quarter inches, all right? So five and a quarter inches this way. And then you're looking at it from a height perspective of being four and a half, okay? So that's the size of the box. So you wanted it bigger or smaller, just adjust the math, okay? All right, so here is the decal. So the largest deckled circle is six by six. So I, what I did is you can see the score lines. I put a score line here and a score line here and 
this is at two and a half and this is at three and a half so what I did is I took the I knew that half of the six was three and I just moved it to half inch on each side because we already know this is an inch because we talked about doing an inch on each side all right so all we're gonna do is come on the score lines here and we're gonna fold it okay and then all I'm gonna do back here is I'm just gonna butt it up to the score line right like here and center it okay you don't have to put the glue all the way down if you don't want to I did because I wanted mine to be really tight but just keep away from the edges here okay I don't the right because the edge is gonna hang over just a little bit just on the sides over here right because we just measured it and it's only five and something whereas this once you get cut this it should be around six inches let's see it's a little short of six inches once you die cut it it's like five and three quarters that's why it makes it work so nice for this box and then all I'm gonna do is come right here and I'm gonna center this just like this here and we're gonna make sure it butts up to here right there this scored line and there you go and we'll let it dry okay while it's drying this is a four by five and a quarter very vanilla and I've already embossed it now if you wanted to color it or use a blending brush and put some ink on top of the sand dollars you could I didn't because here's my original okay and you'll see the difference in stars too this is actually the metallic the textured metallic right here gold and this here is the gold so you can see that they're both gold but one's definitely much more shinier the brush is definitely much more shinier than the regular and they're both you know currently available right so all I'm gonna do here is you can see that it's just a smidgen smidgen right so all I'm gonna do is take and I'm gonna take my trimmer and I'm gonna trim off about an eighth of an inch and we'll see how that looks I'll make sure which side because I'm gonna cut my sand dollar all right so we're just gonna cut it at eighth of an inch I have to look at this here because it's like it's right there on the edge here and you know what I'd rather cut just enough or not enough and just redo it if I need to but see just by cutting off an eighth of an inch that fits perfectly so we're just gonna do the same thing but turn around and see you could do it just if you flip it over this way too right just pinch whatever texture you want that's the beauty of this particular die is it looks very beautiful on both sides it's just depending on what look you want all right so we're just gonna put this right here and I centered it and then our box lid's just gonna come over just like this all right so this is this has actually been die cut out of basic beige just to give it a little bit different color than the vanilla and we're gonna put it on here I put it on there with dimensional so we'll do that I use a small dimensional on this because if you look at the center of this there's not very much room and I don't want it to show so I sit there and you I put this one on with a small dimensional because a small dimensional fit right here in the center okay and I'm just gonna put it right here and the other thing is that way too I can put the ribbon just to the side of it so this doesn't have to be perfectly centered right because we're gonna have a gold star on top now I did use a regular dimensional on this this is just from one of my paper pumpkin kits and I'm gonna put it right in here in the center of this too and it'll just fit right so if you just diagonal it right between the starfish where the stuff is cut it'll fit perfectly there and we're just gonna put it right here in the center okay it just gives a nice little accent right so this is how the box is gonna look here's what I did before in a different color right so it's just preference of color I was just trying to stick to some sea foam put that one over there something use that so this is to some beach colors right if you went to the beach right now and you'll see a lot of houses and hotels and all and they've always got their beach colors right so all we're gonna do is take this ribbon if you want to know what this ribbon is it is a cream ribbon it's a cream ribbon that just came out for the online exclusives so there's one thing about the online exclusives right you don't see them in the catalogs 
So I'm just going to center it so it ties it shut. So it just makes a nice gift box. Uh, you can sit up there and put cards in it, right? You'd have to make your cards so they would fit. Or you'd have to make your box maybe a little bit bigger for it to fit. But it will fit, okay? And, you know, uh, we did some 4x4 four four cards before, too. That would be great to put in here, 3x3 three three cards, or size it up and put your regular size cards. But this was more like a gift box, okay? So there's the gift box. I'm going to set it aside. And now we're going to make the card. So because the deckled, when you saw the deckled circle there, it when it cuts a whole 6x6, six six, it gets down to 5 and 3 quarters, all right? So that's still a little bit big. When I got through this here, let's see what you got. We have less than five and three quarters and let's see if I get it right here so you can see with a circle and with it being deckled it's hard to get it exact right so this will fit so this should fit in the envelope okay and that's what I was just double checking so I can show you so I accidentally I don't know what I did there but I did get that there so what we're going to do here is so this is when you open this up oh I did this as well so when you this up, this is what it looks like, right? And I did get some stuff on it there, so I could. I'm not worried about it because I'm going to cover it, all right? So I got some of that on. I'm not sure how I got that on there. But anyway, so basically I had to sit up here and take. I brought all the pieces so I can show you. I actually took, this is how big the piece of paper was. And this was, just so you know, I actually used... Uh, eight and a half, right? Or eight and a half, and then from this here, I used it looks like another eight and a half. Can't be eight and a half and eight and a half because this is not a square; it's a rectangle. Okay, that's eight and a half. It's like okay by six, eight and a half by six. Okay, so what I did is I folded in half, like right here, and then I just positioned so you can see. This is what the difference is, right? I just positioned it so I can make sure I get a little bit of color on both sides so that when I cut it out, I actually had a card. And so, see, I had to actually extend this over here. And that might have been why that happened when I ran it through. It picked up some of the stuff because that was the way I did it. But that's okay. I got what I wanted, right? This is what I wanted. But I had to sit there and just offset the die so I could get what I wanted. All right? And the same thing goes for the inside of this here. This circle which is the next size in the deco dies, is not quite five inches. So it's a circle, right? Quite five inches. So same thing I did here. I literally took, originally I was just going to use the regular standard size, so I have a four and five quarters inch card, but the thing is it wouldn't fit, right? The circle was too big. So I had to size the paper up just a little bit, and again, I folded it in half, this is the light circle. This is, goes to this one. So I folded this, and I, I didn't even fold this one. This one, I just had to make it where it was right there, and I just offset it. I just showed you that one, okay? Then once I offset it so that it would fit on the card, because I want it to be just a little bit smaller, right? Because it is a smaller circle, so I want it to be about like this, right? So I could do that all the way around, so this could sit in the middle. So you just had to offset it when I did my very vanilla piece. All right, so this is actually going to be on the inside of my card. So I did two of these, and you could die cut at the same time. And I'm going to go ahead and put this one on the inside. So you can die cut two pieces of very vanilla at the same time. Now, if you run it through and you have it, and you say it didn't work the first time for you, then just run it again the second time. Maybe yours isn't as sharp. Maybe you used it more than mine, or whatever. It can be any number of reasons, right? Just run it through a second time. I just always make sure that you can see it come through on the paper. So this is what I wanted, and I can get it. All right, so once I die cut it, then I turn around and ran it through the embossing folder so I could get these designs. So I'm going to put this on here again just the same way. I wanted to stamp first, though. Let's stamp first because it's going to be harder to stamp. So I have two choices. I brought a stamp. Oops, sorry. I wanted to stamp directly on here, and in the event that that did not work out, I also brought along a die cut, deckled die cut 
had just in case. So what I really wanted to do is I wanted this and this right here to side, and I just wanted to stamp a sentiment right here. So I've done it both ways. I've done it where I've stamped directly on after it's been embossed, and I've done it the other way too, where I've actually stamped and then embossed. So it worked just fine. If it had not, my contingency plan was, I was just gonna sit up there and put a tag over it. So, all right, so that we don't split the small stuff. I was somewhere, well, I was doing a class at assisted living yesterday and someone had stamped and you know, it didn't come out right. And I said, that's fine. All you gotta do is just take, you know, a scrap piece of paper, stamp the cinnamon on it, frame it up how you wanna frame it up and put it on there and it'll be just fine. Actually, this almost reminds me of a purse I have. All right, so look how that looks. See how that looks? All right, so we're gonna go ahead. This has still got some that haven't come out all the way yet. Just sort of move it around so they come out. Lots of times by the time you mail it to somebody or give it to somebody, they always come out too or they get confetti. And we're just gonna put this on with a dimensional just like we did in the box. And again, we're just gonna use the small dimensional. I call this a sea urchin. I know there's gotta be a technical term for this. I just don't know what it is offhand. I don't have all my little special peeps here to tell me what it is called. All right. And then we're just going to again put this on here with a large dimension on. Now this, because it's a card, um, we can put some bling on here. I didn't do it on the box because I'm thinking, I'm not sure you even stayed on by the time you handled it and all. You'd think so, but you know, I really wasn't testing it. So I'm just going to put this in the middle. You can put it off centered if you want to. I'm just making sure that it comes out a little bit, just like we have here. So there we go. Here we have the actual card right here. And I did bring extra ribbon to see if we were going to like any ribbon around this or not. Because we did it on the box. But I'm not sure that I'm really going to like ribbon on here or not. If we did it, it would almost be nice if it was just like this right here. Or we just ended it just right here, right? Let's see what we think of a bow. So if you're out there, let me know what you think. Whether you want us to do a bow, we could do a square knot. i tell you what I think would look really nice, but I'm not sure how nice it would look. I'm not sure I really want a bow. To me, a bow just doesn't fit the card, right? But let's see if we can do this here, if this would even look right. Because I always think of going to the beach and there's always like rope or something, right? So let's see if we can do this here. So yes, yeah, so if you want to know how I create, uh, people always want to know how I create. This one I wasn't really, I was more inspired with this with the box than I was anything else. But, you know, you just get an idea in your head and it's like, okay, let me take the idea and see what I can do. So that's how this was created because I really like the duckle. I really like the box. It's like, let's make a card to go with it. Okay, now see, I like this like idea and concept and the reason is, right, it's not uncommon to see beach bags or anything else. I'm going to put one more here. I think one more is too much. But I still think it's just a nice, different touch, and we could sit there and add some pearls to it if we want to. I really prefer the flat pearls if I had them handy, but I couldn't find them between all my getting ready for this, that, and the other. And I think I like the three best. It goes back to the whole thing of doing odd numbers and not even, right? So let's just take this out. We don't have to take it out. Let me just snip it right here, and I'll make it work. I'm going to tighten up so we can get more ribbon there. Okay. And then all we're going to do is we're going to put this down with some glue dots. Just like this right here. Just to give it a little extra something, right? And then we'll add some bling. Because we can. Right? It's always about because we can. And I'm just going to put them down on a couple of these knots here. I think I got a glue dot stuck to me. I do. If I wanted a glue to dot stuck to me, it wouldn't do that. But, you know, that's life, right? That is just life. You let it go. All right, so we're just going to put this, like, right here. Just goes with a whole nautical look, right? And we can trim this off. Again, I'll, you know, if you wanted to fray it. I don't I didn't try to fray this ribbon yet. Um, there's definitely other things for the retreat. We've actually done some frayed ribbon look. Because it just gives it a nice touch, right? 
All right, we'll trim it right there. So we got our nice little look right there. And then we're gonna add some bling. So I did have my flat pearls, which I think would look great, but we have other choices too. I'm gonna go with this one. This one is iridescent foil gems. And to me, they look like they have pieces of sand in them. So we're gonna go ahead and get this on here. And like, well, since, let's see where we want. See how that's nice and it just blends with it? It just gives a little sparkle. So we're just gonna add a couple of these. Okay. There we go. And we'll add another one. All right, we can get that with the tool here. It's like, seriously. It's right, it's a Wednesday. We're halfway through the week and we got the weekend coming. Let me get another small one and I'm just gonna put it up here. I right, just give it some little extra sparkle. All right, so on the inside, I set this aside. I wasn't sure if I was really going to want this or if I just wanted to stamp. But I set aside a gold star, extra gold uh, starfish. And one thing we are going to do with this that I did set aside is we're going to do a little stamping. Not much. We're going to do it lightly. And we're going to do it with this right here. It just looks like little pebbles on the beach when you stamp it. And I'm going to do it right here. I've got the starfish handy just in case because I wasn't sure. And I've got a piece of scrap paper here so I can stamp off. Because I'll show you the difference. And we're just going to sprinkle some at the bottom, right? I could put a giant starfish in the middle lightly, but I didn't want to. So I'm just going to do it here. There's one. And then here's the stamp off. Okay, so you got to keep in mind... It's going to be on very vanilla. So that's on white. Just to give you an idea for white. Now when you go and do it on very vanilla, here is stamp one. And here is stamp two. All right, so that's why I always tell you, you know, to take a look and test it out first. Because you can see how it just looks different, right? It looks darker here because of white versus very vanilla. So we're going to use the stamp off. All right? So I, I can keep on just using this here. It'll be fine. I'm going to stamp once, and then I'm going to stamp off. We're just going to do this several times. It doesn't have to perfectly match, right? Because we're not doing a footpath or anything. We're just doing just something we want to do. All right? And we can fill in the gaps right here if we want to. So it's all about doing whatever you want to do, right? There's no magic or anything else. It's just what do you like to do, what do you want to do, and that's it. Okay, and from there, we're just going to add our star, and then we're done. And I'm going to go ahead and use it, do it with glue, and I'm just going to put a little bit in the glue in the center here. And we're just going to put it right here, right, just to the side. So that way you have plenty of space to write a sentiment. We got a little decoration and added addition here. And it's just going to fold and fit in your envelope. So let me show you how they both look together. See? See how nice it is? Just a nice, unique card. No, it would not fit in here because this was designed for a treat or a gift. This is designed as a card. So there we got our two together. So I hope you enjoyed that, right? It's just simple and easy to make. And it's one of those things you can die cut. Uh, the, the circles you can die cut at the same time if you want to, if they're the same size. But most definitely be sure to score before you sit up there and do your die cutting your circle because it's a circle. So it doesn't matter how it comes out cut, you're still going to have your two lines that are em embossed right there on the edges, right? And the fact is, is that then it's much easier to be able to put on the lid and you don't have to worry. Versus a rectangle or something else, right? So, with that, I hope you enjoyed it. And be sure, you know, we'd love for you to support us by following us here on Facebook and also on Instagram and YouTube. And, you know what? Also, be sure to share it with your friends. But the most important thing is to go out there, create, share, and give. And make a difference in someone else's life and make a difference in their day. Be blessed. I look forward to seeing you next week with Keep It Simple or Step It Up. Bye.